Hi, my name is Zakai, and welcome to my podcast, Loyalty to, to Thine Own Self Be True. Now, I used to suffer a lot by other people's apparent lack of loyalty to me, and I couldn't understand why people weren't thronging around me like a celebrity, because I am so utterly delightful, but I got over that quickly as soon as I realized the true essence of what loyalty really is, which is, it is no one else's job to do anything or act in any way or believe as I believe, etc., in order to make me feel happy. It's my job to make myself feel happy. It's no one else's job. And reciprocally, it is not my job to think, feel, do, and believe or act in ways to make other people happy. And so, with this enlightened thoughts in mind, loyalty takes on a new meaning, a more divine meaning from a more enlightened perspective because it's no one's job to be loyal to you. It's only their job to be loyal to themselves. So, of course, I realize that it's no one else's job to be loyal to me. It's just my job to be loyal to myself. And this takes the pressure off of you and others because you're, you, don't know, you no longer feel the need to try to manipulate other people to act in supposedly loyal ways or judge them when they don't act in loyal ways you know, in order to please you, and you acting in supposedly loyal ways to please others. And so with that relief, because that's what it really does, it creates relief. With that relief in mind, you can now expect other people to never ever do anything that you want them to do so that you can feel happy. And you can count on them to 100% do everything that they want to do that makes them happy. And then you're never disappointed. It's no one else's job to somehow be loyal to you because the only person anyone can truly be loyal to is themselves. So the only form of loyalty that ever really is possible is loyalty to yourself. To thine own self be true, Horatio. So expect everyone to only be loyal to themselves and you be loyal to yourself and then you'll never be disappointed when others, other people act in purely selfish ways that don't consider you and your happiness or your prosperity or etc. In fact, you will honor and respect and congratulate them for their selfish act because they are honoring themselves above all other things, which is the perfect thing to do. And if they don't honor themselves and instead try to manipulate themselves to make you happy, everything will just go wonky and it'll feel bad because no one else's no one else can think for you or feel for you. And then of course they can't vibrate for you and therefore they can't create for you. And if they try to be your creator with your selfishly enlightened perspective now that, that you now have where everyone creates for themselves, your relationship will feel codependent and out of balance and you'll feel trapped. It feels great at first when someone is positively focused upon your well-being and joy 24-7, but after a while this intense focus upon you starts to feel like a prison rather than some sort of love <clears throat> because every decision in your life revolves around them and vice versa and this is the, the classic the honeymoon is over scenario because it is impossible for anyone else <coughs> To effectively consider you when making all their decisions in life about anything in their own life really because they cannot create for you and you cannot create for them 
and you have completely different desires than them and they have completely different desires than you. So the concept of compromise that is so prevalent and recommended in quote-unquote relationship and marriage, of course, becomes not only ludicrous but ultimately impossible and sabotaging to your relationship. You cannot compromise what you desire. You cannot compromise your dreams and follow your own self-guidance at the same time. And you will never ever get what you want if you are compromising for others to keep them happy. And of course they won't be ha ever happy compromising to keep you happy. <clears throat> or even if others are compromising for you to keep you happy, well, you know, nobody's going to be happy. The idea that humans came up with that compromise is a, that compromise is a healthy part of relationship and marriage is just complete and utter bullshit. Compromise is not ever a win-win situation for anybody, which is what you optimally want in every single relationship of your life and every connection that you have with anybody. You always want a win-win. You don't ever want anybody to lose out. Compromise always means one person wins and the other loses or both people lose and then no one is happy. Compromise does not ever create, does not ever, 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 ever create healthy relationships. It only creates resentment and anger and disappointment and disempowerment and ultimately destroys what could have been wonderful, beautiful, healthy relationships because no one is following their own guidance. No one is following their own desires and dreams. No one is following their own you know, choices and decisions. No one is getting what they truly want, which ultimately is to just be happy. And the only way to be truly happy is when you are following your own inner guidance system, not following the guidance, demands, desires, and mandates of others. So learn how to guide yourself to create what you want. Take care of yourself. Make sure, make sure you're happy. Then you influence others to also be happy. And that's the best way that you can help other people. Not manipulating yourself so that you can somehow make them happy. Just you be happy. Show other people that they can be happy. Then we can all actually be happy. And we don't have to make deals and agreements. You know, and manipulate ourselves. And control ourselves. And judge other people so that we can be happy. Alright, so I hope you got something from this. Share with your friends if you did. I know you did because it was freaking amazing. Come visit me at zakyron.com for more self-empowering goodies to help you become an amazing creator of reality to create whatever you want in your life. My name is Zakyron Sheehan, and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Thanks again for watching this video or watching or listening to this podcast. Uh, and uh, I wish you immense abundance and joy and adventure and amazing well-being on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And, of course, remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!